Hi, Vito. Are you awake yet? Hmm? Oh, hi, Elena. Good morning. Uh, what? Where'd you go? I'm really sorry. I was suddenly called by an acquaintance, so I hurried and left the hotel. What an acquaintance? You have an acquaintance here in Milan? And why did this acquaintance of yours have to call you during our honeymoon anyways? I'm sorry. It's really complicated, so I'll explain to you later. Hopefully, it's nothing and I can come back right away. I'm at Kay Station right now, by the way. That's the nearest station to our hotel, right? Anyways, I have to go now. I'll come back by afternoon. I don't quite understand, but it seems like an emergency. It kind of is. Bye. I'm really sorry I have to go at a time like this. It's alright, I can wait. Monia, good morning, my dear. I have some good news. Good morning, dear Vito. What's the matter? Are you supposed to be on a honeymoon with your wife? Well, you see, she won't be here until afternoon. Some acquaintance of hers in Milan suddenly told her to come and meet them, it seems. What? Really? Yep. Apparently, she had some emergency she needed to take care of. So, she wasn't there when I woke up. Yay! Does that mean we can be together until she returns, and... Yep. We can do whatever we want until she comes back. Your room number is 1103, right, Monia? Yeah, it is. I was so lonely on my own last night. I can't go to sleep without you, honey. Sorry. You know that I have to pretend to be my wife that I love her. All I could think about last night was you. I'll come to your room right now. Why don't we make love until Elena comes back, honey? Yeah, I'll be waiting, darling. Elena, is it true that you were brought to the hospital? You got into an accident near the crossroads of the station, right? I was wondering why you wouldn't come home after you just suddenly left like that. Just what in the world are you doing? Hey! Did you hurt your hand so you can't reply or something? Hi, Vito. Yep, I got in an accident. Me and my acquaintance were hurriedly crossing the street. But we were so distracted that the street light was red and... Luckily, the car wasn't going at that fast of a speed since it was on a small road, though. Oh, Elena. I was so worried about you. The police suddenly called me and my heart skipped a beat when they... said that you got into an accident and were hospitalized. I was so relieved when they said that it was nothing fatal, though. Were you injured badly? Yep, I was hit by a car. How wouldn't I be badly injured? My hands are fine so I can text, but I broke some bones in my legs. I guess this means our honeymoon has to be cancelled as well. Damn, but we were so looking forward to visiting the Milan Cathedral. I guess it can't be helped though. You're at S General Hospital, the one in the same city as the hotel, right? Yep. It's a real shame that our trip has to be cancelled. Don't worry about having to pay for the hospitalization expenses. I'll take care of it on my own. Sorry, I know we're in the middle of our honeymoon. What? Are you sure you're only gonna pay for all of it on your own? Isn't that gonna cost thousands of euros or something? I mean, if you insist, I'm not gonna stop you though. Anyways, uh, visiting hours are about to be done for today. So, I'll visit you as soon as I can tomorrow. Do you want me to bring anything for you? Some snacks or something? I don't think the doctor's going to allow you to just bring me food. And I already have my bag with my phone and wallet, so it's fine. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon then. Hey, Monia. My honey. I have some good news again. What is it? Did your wife get into an accident and die or something? Um, unfortunately, no. And besides, you shouldn't be saying things like that. It's rude, even if she is just my wife. But she did get hospitalized. <laughs> Aw, alright. I'll be more careful with my words from now on. 
But did she really get hospitalized? We're so lucky. <laughs> yeah, apparently she didn't notice that the street light was red and was hit by a car. What an idiot, am I right? <laughs> I told her I would be visiting her as soon as visiting hours start tomorrow. I don't really want to, but I have to since I need to pretend that I love her. And it would be strange for a husband not to visit his wife when she just got into an accident. But this means that we can be with each other until then, honey. I'm so happy, darling. This is basically our honeymoon now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if this is our honeymoon and not me and my wife's now, then would you like to stay at our room? Room 1310 tonight. That sounds wonderful. I'll be there immediately, darling. I'm so excited. That means that I'm officially better than her, right? <laughs> I guess, but you are always better than her, Monia. The only reason I married her is because she would do what I say and would even work on top of doing housework. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you in the state that I was born in, honey. Hey, Vito. So are you really going to go visit your wife? Yeah, I have to show myself at least once, you know. I feel that a husband not going to visit his wife in the hospital is going to be a problem in the future. I understand. I understand, but I'll get lonely, Vito. <sighs> Me too. I'll get lonely too. I get so lonely whenever I leave you. But I have to leave because my wife will get suspicious if I don't come and visit her. Darling, oh, how I wish we could be together without having to worry about your wife. <sighs> All right, go and visit her, but come back as soon as you can. I'll be waiting for you in the bed. Honey. All right, I've decided. I'll come up with some excuse and tell Elena I won't be able to visit her. You can do that. What kind of excuse are you going to make up that's going to war and not visiting your wife right after she got into an accident? Oh, I know. Why not just say that you caught a cold or something and can't visit her, or she might be sick. Or she might get sick. <laughs> it's believable, and there isn't going to be any evidence that you weren't actually sick when she comes back, right? <laughs> that's a good idea, but what if she calls me with face chat or something? Not only will I have to look sick, but I'll have to sound sick as well. She might see through my acting. But I have an even better idea than yours. You see, my mother also happens to be on vacation. Oh, really? At the same time as you and your wife's honeymoon? What a coincidence. <laughs> Don't tell me she followed you or something. <laughs> I called my dad the first day of our honeymoon. And apparently, Mom just suddenly decided to go on a trip of her own. But you've just said what I was going to say myself, honey. I'm going to pretend that Mother secretly followed us to Milan, and that I'm currently arguing with her since she wants to go on a trip with us. This is going to cause some tension between the two of them, and... Yep, I think it will work. <laughs> Sorry, Elena. I was intending to visit you as soon as visiting hours started, but I think it's going to be impossible. Why? What's the matter? Did something happen? Well, you see, I've got a bit of a problem right now. Mom chased us all the way here, and we're having a disagreement right now. What? Your mother? You know, she's one of those mothers who wants to go with a newly married couple on their honeymoon. I told her you were hospitalized after an accident, and then she told me that I should just go with a trip on her instead. At this rate, Mom is going to hijack her honeymoon. I broke my legs, so it was going to be canceled either way, though. It doesn't really matter whether your mom hijacks her honeymoon or not now. Besides, sorry, that was nothing. Why not just go on a vacation with your mom now? I mean, you're already in Milan, so why not? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's true, but you're being hospitalized there, right? If we don't cancel, then we can stay closer to each other for the duration of our stay. 
Obviously, I would rather be with you than with my mom, Elena. I see. Either way, I'm gonna settle things with mom no matter what. I'm not gonna let her hijack her honeymoon. Um, Vito, there's something I need to tell you. Your mom is currently at my room apologizing on her knees, even though she's covered in bandages. What? She's covered in bandages and apologizing to you? Uh, my mom? Did you get confused or something? I said my mom followed us here, and I'm currently arguing with her. Don't try lying to me. She's literally in the same room as me right now. She kept apologizing to me on her knees, but she shouldn't put pressure on her injuries. So I had her stop, though. Do you know what this means, Vito? Do you understand now? Um... This means that she got into the accident as well. What? Oh, don't tell me. The acquaintance you were going to meet yesterday was... Yes. I went to meet your mother yesterday because she said there was something extremely important that she needed to tell me. What is the meaning of this? Dad said that Mom suddenly decided to go on a trip on her own. What? So she really did follow us on our honeymoon? I guess that she did follow us if you look at it one way. But she's not one of those mothers who come to bother the married couple, okay? In fact, I might have been forced to live a life of hell if it wasn't for her. Huh? What? Um, I don't really know what's going on. What do you mean you might have been forced to live a life of hell? Ask your honey why don't you. What? Uh, but you're my honey, Elena. Stop trying to play dumb. I know everything about it now. Her name was Monia, right? It seemed that she tried to get my contact information from you. But instead, she got your mom's by accident. She sent her a bunch of messages talking about how she was going to steal you from me and how you love her more. Huh? Why would Monia send my mom texts like that? And how did she even get my mom's contact information in the first place? So you admitted that you cheated on me with her. I guess she spammed the wrong person with text. Your mom was receiving these texts every day and decided to tell me about it after I got back from her honeymoon. But apparently this Monia followed us here and was meeting you while we weren't together. Your mother deeply regretted not telling me about your adultery sooner and hurriedly followed us to her honeymoon destination. Damn it, but I was sure he wouldn't get caught. I even went out of my way to take extra precautions. It seems you weren't careful enough, which was lucky for me, I guess. Anyways, as we were hurrying across the road after she had suddenly told me to meet her, the two of us got into an accident. We were sent to the same hospital and even the same room. That's what happened. What? I didn't know any of this was happening. But why would Monia get the wrong ID from my phone? What? Oh, I gave Monia my mom's name as your name. Why would you do that? I thought it would help to prevent us from getting caught. I don't think me and Monia have any mutual acquaintances, but just to be sure, I thought... I see. So it backfired on you. Anyways, don't come to the hospital, alright? Why not? Do you intend on starting a scene with someone who's neither mentally nor physically well? Your mom says she doesn't want to see you either. Uh, mom is mad at me too, but... Mad is an understatement. She's practically livid and says that she's even thinking of cutting ties with you. Oh, and by the way, it seems your father's going to come and see you. Dad is here too? Of course. The two of us are stuck in the hospital for the time being, so we had him come to catch you. I'm not going to let you escape, alright? I'm not letting you get away without paying an alimony first. Monia. Oh, hi, darling. Are things all right over there? I just took a shower. I can't wait any longer. Things aren't all right. Something terrible has happened. To think that I would get caught after all those precautions I took. What? They found out about us. What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? Darling? Why are you suddenly mad at me? I'm getting scared. 
What do you mean they found out about us? Did I do something wrong? Shut up, you moron! This is all your fault! Apparently you told my wife about our relationship! Oh, that? Why didn't you just say it was about your wife finding out about a relationship in the first place? That's what you meant when you said they found out? You're so overdramatic, Vito. Gosh. I told your wife about a relationship because I was confident that you loved me more than your wife. I was just so proud about it that I had to tell her. I couldn't help it. It's not my fault that I love you so much. That's not a reason to tell her about our relationship. Now that my wife found out, I'm probably going to have to divorce her. Do you know how much money that woman makes? Apparently, she runs her own business or something. Listen, the only reason I started going out with you in the first place is because my wife is often busy with work and I had no other women to hold in my arms. You wouldn't make a good wife, Monia. Why do you think I went out of my way to hide our relationship from her and not just divorce her and be with you instead? Besides, the person you were sending those texts wasn't my wife, but my mother. You got it wrong because I told you my mother's name was my wife's name because I thought it would prevent us getting caught. Huh? I'm not fit to be a wife? But darling, I love you so much. Who cares if your wife makes a lot of money or something? We don't need it in the first place. Of course I care! She earns nearly twice as much money as I do! What? Wait, so your wife makes even more money than you do? Just who is she? I told you, she runs a business. But that's not the point. Why would you send those texts to my wife in the first place? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Uh, um, well, why don't we just calm down? Everything's alright. You're gonna be the next CEO of a company, right? Who cares if they ask us to pay an alimony? A few tens of thousands of dollars is nothing to you, right? What? Right? Why well, not just divorce her if she already found out? You're going to marry me immediately anyway, so who cares if you get divorced? Hold on. What are you talking about? Who's, who said I was soon going to be a CEO? Huh? What do you mean? You're going to be the next CEO of A Corporations, are you not, darling? Your dad is the current CEO, and if I marry you, I'll be able to live in that mansion, right? I'm looking forward to it. Wait, me and the CEO just happen to have the same last name, Girardi. But uh, apparently it's quite a rare name. So who knows, maybe we had the same great-great-great-grandfather or something. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me right now or something, Vito? I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's not my father. He's not even a relative as far as I know. Uh, what did you say? Do you think this is some fucking joke or something? So you're saying that I won't become the celebrity wife of a CEO? What did I do all this for then? All my work the past six months was for nothing? What? Monia? You don't sound like your usual self. What's wrong? Hold on. Don't tell me that the only reason you approached me in the first place was because you thought I was the son of the CEO. I thought that we loved each other. Of course it was the only reason. And no, I don't love you and I never did. I was always just pretending. Your constant honeys and darlings honestly made me want to throw up. I only went along to get you to like me, so don't get that mistaken. If I hadn't thought you were going to be a CEO, then I would never have the sex with a man like you. You're just an old man in his 40s. What did you say to me? Wait, that's why you sent those texts to my wife, didn't you? Well, you sent them to my mother by accident, but you were trying to get us divorced so that you could be my wife instead, right? So what if I wanted to get you divorced? It wasn't my fault that I thought you were the son of the CEO of A Corporations. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? <sighs> God damn it. I messed up bad. My only hope is to find another man. But what am I going to do about the alimony? Your wife is obviously going to make me pay one. 
Seriously, this is your fault. Shut your mouth, slut! Fine, I know what I need to know. What? I'll pay your alimony for you. What? Really? I'll probably lose all my money, though. I'll probably have to quit my job as well. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't actually care about you, remember? <laughs> but I have a condition. I'll pay your alimony for you, but you have to marry me. Uh, Vito? Are you alright? You sound a bit strange. If it comes to this, then I'm gonna take you with me on this ruined road that is now my life. What? We're bound together by destiny! You're gonna be my woman for the rest of my life, whether you like it or not! Huh? Have you seriously gone insane or something? The woman Vito cheated on me with, Elena, is 19 years old. Apparently she had cut ties with her parents and siblings and went on her own to the capital, dreaming of marrying someone rich and famous. The first man she met was Vito. Apparently they met at Vito's workplace, as Elena had gotten a job to support herself until she married someone rich and famous. They worked at A Corporations, a company that produces household appliances, and whose CEO's last name is Gerhardi, same as Vito's. Thus, either by cruel coincidence or by fate, the two were brought together, and Elena set her plan of seducing Vito and stealing him from me in motion. This plan of hers was executed perfectly. After all, she did get us a divorce, except for the fact that she made the crucial mistake of thinking that Vito was the CEO's son. Given her situation, the only person she could count on after the incident was Vito, who was 20 years older than her. Vito's parents and siblings cut ties with him as well. And so the two, having no one else to rely on, promised to stay together, even though there was no love between them and only hate. If that isn't hell, I don't know what is. They moved together to the new house that Vito had bought, which was supposed to be ours. Vito didn't lose his job at the end of the day, even though for some reason he thought that he would have to quit. Vito provides for the two of them, while Elena on the other hand just stays at home, sometimes doing housework and probably always thinking about how she might one day get to divorce Vito and marry an actual celebrity. I, on the other hand, had them pay an alimony up front and got divorced with Vito, and that was the end of it for me. I only see the two of them falling into poverty and messing up their lives in the future. But I honestly don't care anymore, so I'm going to do my best to forget about this whole ordeal.